Um, what's up guys and gals? This is Roy from Roy's Customs and I'm here to kind of uh, tell you why it's not a good idea to put these little baby breathers on your um, uh, PCV uh, tubing. Uh, a lot of times uh, people will get like an aftermarket intake or whatever and well there's no place to put the hose in the in the new intake the aftermarket intake well okay um, so they'll put one of these on the uh, ventilation port well that's okay for a little while but as you can see it gets pretty nasty it gets pretty glopped up with well I'd say this one was either white or gray at one time and now it is black well, it's okay for her until it gets all sopped up with oil and then it just starts spurting it out all over everywhere. Um, and it ends up getting all over whatever's in its path. Um, I had to actually clean a bunch of oil and ick off of the intake and, and I'm going to clean this up a little bit too. It's not going to be perfect. Um, the thing is, is what you really want to do if you're gonna get the aftermarket intake what you'll want to do is you'll want to get a catch can uh, maybe 20 30 bucks maybe 40 bucks on eBay for a really nice one um, comes with instructions tells you how to do it and all and it'll usually have two three ports on it and sometimes it'll have a filter or whatever um, but you can put the catch can kind of off to the side and what it will do is that that any oil that comes out or anything from from your valve cover or whatever will go into the catch can um, they were really popular like on old vehicles like back in the day that's what they had they had catch cans um, they didn't really have PCV valves but um, they, this is something that like a lot of the newer guys end up doing which is a mistake um, but if you do do this, don't do not do it this way, get a hose and run it off to the side or someplace and then put this on the end of the hose, you know, and that way it's not like spewing all over the everything that's here because the intake on this vehicle is underneath this and like I say, I had to clean a whole bunch of stuff, um, uh, a whole bunch of crud off of the intake and everything else um, so so anyways I would suggest using a catch can of some sort they're not that much like I say you can afford 20 30 40 bucks I mean if you're gonna get the $75 aftermarket intake well you apparently got the money to spend on going ahead and getting you a little catch can and doing it the right way so anyways this just isn't a good idea uh, even if it works temporarily, it's still going to pile up with oil and ick and then just start spurting all over everything. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this up and uh, I'll, I'll tell the guy what I think he should do, but he probably won't listen because, well, sometimes it's hard to get through some people what they need to do. Um, but anyways... Um, that's it that's right there you you should avoid this get you a catch can and do it the right way because um, in, in all actuality if if your engine bay gets really nasty oily and stuff um <coughs> there is potential that means there's like a hot exhaust manifold around there somewhere uh the oil could get to the manifold and I've actually seen engines burst into flame because there is oil all over them I've literally seen it swear to it um, but you know there's there's it there's my little take on why you shouldn't use these little mini filters there unless you're gonna run a hose and have it like because usually in your fenders there's like a little cubby on both sides so you can run this thing to one of those cubbies and and then the cubby will get kind of nasty, but at least your engine will stay clean. <laughs> but anyways, um, there you have it. That's my take on it. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe, uh, hit the notifications, and have a spectacular day or night, whichever one it is for you. Peace out.